Okay, people. Smell is incredible. You only live once. You only live once, people. Little pod. How is them apples, people? I generally like to keep my auction strolls a bit low-key, but this one's a bit special. Hope you enjoy. Okay, people, I'm legitimately blown away by this car right here. Subaru Leone in a level of trim, which is just absolutely incredible. Uh, let me just give you a rundown of how many times I've seen the, like, basically this car in Japan. Um, maximum is twice. And just so we're crystal clear on what appears to be a croc, yeah, in the last 20 years in Japan, of this generation of Leone, which is the second gen, of this body style, which is the wagon I have seen, and I checked the archives, just two. There was this incredibly clean, slightly later one, which I saw in 2020, and then this amazing blue one, which came out of the woodwork mid last year, I saw that one. And quick question, have you ever seen this color blue on this generation of uh, Leone? Looks incredible. Okay, and I've just relocated to the back for, for reasons, people, for reasons. Uh, this is incredible. Fukuoka Subaru Jidosha sticker, that's where the, it was uh, the dealer. A couple of stickers, custom made vehicle for the privilege. We love skiing. Subaru for this is a sp oh what is going on? Is this like a special edition with the roof thing going on? Yeah, so if it's not immediately obvious, I had zero clue about this ski as special. Apparently a Japanese thing and certainly a North American thing where I believe Subaru sponsored the US ski team. There are some adverts around online. Pretty interesting stuff. Be that as it may, certainly not an Australian thing. And in fact, it was 28 years old when I first saw snow. So it was just snow itself that was incredibly special. And I wonder if anyone out there is screaming at the screen about the family huckster of Hoonigan. Basically, I don't have much time to watch YouTube. Uh, even Hoonigan. Uh, anyway. Zona wheel. Bridgestone. Uh, yeah, Bridgestone tyres. Bridgestone Zona. This is incredible. And check out this bit of trim right here. It looks to be... Yeah, rubberized. Legit looks to be factory. Oh, people, this is very, very exciting. Uh, even the bloody the fuel filler flap is freaking cool as heck. Okay, moment of truth. The trim is beautiful. Oh no, it's locked. It's so locked up in this. Okay, people. Smell is incredible. I wish you were here. The seat trim is freaking straight out of Braveheart. Beautiful blue tint on that glass. Gives this, the back area a nice little bloody ambiance. But uh, yeah, that's incredible. I'm loving this, people. Now we're going to move to the front. However, look at these floor mats. They're in tip-top nick. They are fitted incredibly. Oh, this car is incredible. Okay, now from here, what have we got? We've got uh, 61,700 Ks on the clock. The rear door is open. You're right, my butt's hanging out of it. And what is jumping out to me about this interior? Uh, passenger side vents. Well, I guess, whatever. Plenty of flow through by the looks of it, that's incredible. Uh, no glove box, interior or lid for that matter. Aftermarket stereo and where the old stereo once was, it's a barren wasteland, people. And a quick look to the center console, you can see it's got a full speed gearbox and the whole dual range thing, which I'm just not familiar with so I can hardly comment on. Uh, I can see that some of the condition of the plastics, certainly sun bleached, damaged, brittle, that sort of thing. But the key point, people, are those seats. The trim is popping. Well, let me just, um, how do I de-lock? How do I de-lock? Va 
because I can't leave this without seeing the engine. Now I've got to investigate. I've got to investigate this thing on the roof. Okay, it's a Subaru accessory because it totally says Subaru, Subaru, there. Uh, and it's, it's a cast into the thing Subaru there. That's incredible. I want to know more about that. Now, are you going to embarrass me and open from the other end? You know, okay. Let's have a look here, people. Spare tyres on top of engines. I, I love it. And we've got full graphics on this side. Oh, let's just get a bit of a look at this. So what is going on? Oh, look, you only live once. You only live once, people. Little pod. Not much fits in there, people. Uh, I guess gloves. Skiing gloves. Like, your skis aren't going to fit in there, are they? The skis are not going to fit in there. What a hilarious little insight into my no-ski life. Mind you, not much else is happening in my life besides work. Workload is crazy. That's why there's two weeks between videos, so be back in two weeks. Drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and also dig through the videos I've done. Trust me, there's going to be stuff that will blow your mind, I swear. Anyway, love is all. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.